So, today we will discuss compact sets in a general metric space that requires the concept of open cover. So, first we see open cover by an open cover of a set. of a set E in a metric space X D X D we mean a collection a collection of open set collection G alpha where alpha belongs to the index set alpha belongs to the index set omega of open subsets of x such that arbitrary union of this open set g alpha covers e when alpha belongs to omega Okay. So, if a uh, collection of the open set which whose unions arbitrary union covers E, then we said this collection of the open sets in the metric X D is called an open cover for E. So, we define the compact set a subset K of a metric space. of a metric space X D is said to be compact compact is said to be compact if every open cover if every open cover of X of X every open cover uh, of k sorry of k every open cover of k contains a finite sub cover that is the meaning of this is that is meaning is if g alpha if g alpha is an open cover of k then there are finitely many indices there are finitely many indices uh, indices alpha 1 say alpha 2 alpha n such that the finite union of these sets g alpha 1 g alpha 2 g alpha n finite union of this covers e covers k k covers k covers k so this set is said to be compact so it's just like the a compact set requires the finite number of the open sets which are responsible to cover the entire set. Suppose we have a security system in our IITs and we are it's foolishness to apply to uh, apply the security point wise means infinite number of people you just put it on the security that is not a wise decision. So, what we do we put up a pulse check post and then only finite number of check posts is uh, basically is sufficient to look after the security. So, that way we say campus the security system in the campus that forms a compact sets. Okay. So, it is uh, just like an RBT a set E is said to be compact whenever any open cover of it has a finite circle that is there are only finite number of open sets whose union will cover the entire set X. Obviously, finite set is a compact set every finite set is compact 
there are infinite sets also which are compact. So, we will see that infinite compact sets in all k, we will see the there are infinite sets which are also compact. Say just I, I take an example of a set of all the real numbers in the interval 0 1, it is an infinite sets, but it is compact because only we can divide say 2 3 interval we can choose such that the union will cover the whole interval a b. So, that will be we will see the others example. Now, one thing which we get that suppose E is a subset of y which is subset of x and if E is open E is open with respect to relative to y relative to uh, E is open relative to y uh, relative to y that does not imply that E is open relative to x it not necessarily not necessarily not necessarily that if a set is open in a uh, subset a sub metric space by because x t is a metric space by is a subset of x. So, by d will also be a metric space. So, if a set is open with respect to the metric space by d then it may or may not remain open with respect to the metric x and examples we have seen the R1 and R2, an open interval A B is open in R1, but not in R2, is it not? So, the openness or the closeness of a set depends under which the set is embedded, but this is not the case. So far, we consider the compactness. If a set is compact relative to the y, then it has to be compact relative to x and vice versa. So, this is an interesting result uh, for the com. We have this result as follows. Suppose k is a subset of y, which is a subset of x, where x d is a metric space. Is a metric space. The result says k is compact k is compact relative to x if and only if k is compact k is compact relative to y. relative to y. So, let us see the proof of this. So, what we want is that uh, if k is compact with respect to y, then it has to be compared with respect to x and vice versa. So, let us suppose k is compact, suppose k is compact relative to with respect to or relative to x. It means if we choose a collection of the open set which are relative to x, those countable union covers k, then there will be a finite subset, a finite collection of those open set which can cover k. This is every open cover in of k in x will have a finite score. So, this is known. We wanted to show k is compact relative to y. So, let us consider the open cover of k with respect to y or relative to y. So, let V alpha <coughs> be a collection be a collection of sets open relative to y. relative to y. Now, prior to this we have one result uh, we know the result says 
सपोज बाई इज सबसेट ऑफ ए मिट्टिक स्पेस एक्स ए सबसेट ई ऑफ बाई इज ओपन रिलेटिव टू बाई रिलेटिव टू बाई इफ एन ओनली इफ इफ एन ओनली इफ दे आर इज ए इफ एन ओनली इफ ई कैन बी ही इज कैन बी रिटर्न एज बाई इंटरसेक्शन जी फॉर सम ओपन सबसेट जी ऑफ एक्स दिस रिजल्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी सोन ओके सो यूजिंग दिस रिजल्ट बी कैन से बी अल्फा इज गिविंग टू बी एन ओपन रिलेटिव टू बाई सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस रिजल्ट बी अल्फा कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड एच बाई इंटरसेक्शन जी अल्फा फॉर सम ओपन सबसेट जी अल्फा ऑफ एक्स सो वी कैन से दैट दे आर ऑल दी सेट्स सो दे आर ऑल सेट्स से जी अल्फा ओपन रिलेटिव टू वाई रिलेटिव टू एक्स रिलेटिव टू एक्स सच दैट वी अल्फा इज नथिंग बट द वाई इंटरसेक्शन जी अल्फा फॉर ऑल अल्फा मीन्स वी वन विल बी वाई इंटरसेक्शन जी वन वी टू विल बी तो कलस्पॉन्डिंगली वी कैन गेट द ओपन सेट्स जी वन जी टू जी एन रिलेटिव टू एक्स ओके नाउ वट इज गिवेन इज के इज कम्पेक्ट रिलेटिव टू एक्स सो जी अल्फा इज एन ओपन सेट रिलेटिव टू एक्स सो दिस कलेक्शन ऑफ दिस ओपन कवर विल हैव ए फाइन इट्स कवर सो सिंस K is compact relative to relative to x, so there are so K will be contained in the finite union of these open sets G alpha one, G alpha two, G alpha n. Okay, for some choice of finitely many indices, for some choices. Choice of indices, finite indices, indices alpha one, alpha two, alpha n. Okay, like this. Uh, now, if I take since k is contained in um, since k is a subset of x, uh, k is contained in y. This is given. This is given K is a subset of by K is contained in by, so K is contained in by, so this implies that K which is K intersection by is contained in uh, G alpha one union G alpha two union G alpha n intersection by, and that is the same as this that union of Union of G alpha i intersection by where i is say one to n, one to n. Okay, but G alpha i intersection by is nothing but V alpha, is it not? So this is the same as the union V alpha one, union V alpha two, union V alpha n. So K is Contained in this union, that is the finite uh, number of the open subsets relative to y covers K. This shows K is compact relative to y. K is compact relative to y. Now, conversely, suppose K is compact relative to y. Relative to y, we wanted to show k is compact relative to x. So let G alpha be a, let G alpha be an open cover of x. We open subsets, we open subsets of x, which covers, which covers k. 
It's an open cover. Cover X. Okay. Uh, base covers K. Sorry, mm, because K is compact with respect to uh, base covers K. Okay. Uh, K is compared with respect to Y. What we are doing is we wanted to show K is compared with respect to X. So let us find out an open cover G alpha of K. Now if we prove that this open cover, which is an open cover, which are the open sets with respect to X and covers K, if it has a finite sub cover, then obviously K will be compared with respect to X. Okay. So let us put the um, put v alpha as the set by intersection g alpha okay by is a subset of x g alpha is an open set so this v alpha will be open set relative to y relative to y because of the previous result okay now <coughs> this given this is given k is compact related to y so since k is compact relative to y to y so this open cover of v alpha has a finite sub cover so there are these there exist alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n such that the union of these v alpha 1 v alpha 2 v alpha n covers k covers k okay but v alpha 1 v alpha 2 v alpha n these are the subsets of what subsets of g alpha 1 union g alpha 2 union g alpha n b alpha 1 is a subset of g alpha 1 b alpha n is a subset of g alpha n. so k is also contained in the finite union of these open subsets which are open with respect to x therefore every open cover of x uh, k relative to x have a finite sub cover so this implies k is compact relative to x and that's prove the result okay now another result shows that close subset compact subset the compact subset of a metric space of metric spaces spaces are closed are closed every compact subset of metric space will be a closed set whatever the metric may be it's an arbitrary metric space every compact subset is a closed set let's see the proof this we will prove by contradiction suppose k be a compact subset of x k be a compact subset of x d of a matrix. So, in order to show k is closed, if I prove this complement is open subset of x, then is okay. So, in order to prove required to prove is k is closed. Closed. So, what we do is we so we will show we will prove that its complement k c complement of k this is an open subset of x subset of x so here we have this is our metric space this is a set k what we want is the complement of this kc is open with respect to x so it means if i take any point here say p which does not belongs to k and if we are able to show there exists a neighborhood around the point p which is totally contained in kc then obviously this point p will be an interior point of kc but p is an arbitrary so we can say every point along of kc we can draw the neighborhood which is totally contained in kc so kc becomes open so that's the idea of the proof so let us take suppose p is a point belonging to a complement of k that is kc okay 
but uh, uh, that is in x or you can say p that is p is in x but but p is not in k that is the meaning of this p is in x but it's not in k now let us take a point q if q belongs to k if q belongs to k then there is a distance between p and q so this is the distance between p q the distance of this is nothing but the d of p q so if i take a radius less than half of the distance of p q and draw the neighborhood around these points like this draw the neighborhood around this point like this then this neighborhood will be disjoints. So, let this neighborhood be denoted by B q and this neighborhood we denote by W q. So, let us take this uh, let V p B p B q sorry B q and B q and W q B q and W q be neighborhoods of P be neighborhoods of P and Q respectively B and Q P Q respectively of radius of radius less than less than half the distance between P Q. Okay? Then obviously that V Q intersection w q will be empty disjoints that is true. Okay. Now, let us take since k is compact k is given to be compact is a compact k is compact subsets of metric space x t. So, every open cover of k will have a finite scope cover. So, there are the points q 1 q 2 in q q such that the open ball drawn at q 1 q 2 q n finite number of open ball will be sufficient to cover k. So, let us say uh, there are finitely. So, there are finitely there are finitely many points say q 1 q 2 q n k 1 q 2 in k such that such that the uh, open balls or neighborhood drawn at this point with the radius half of q 1 p etcetera will remain such that the neighborhood drawn at these points with the radius I will say after so w q 2 union w q n w q n where the radius of this radius of w say q i is half of less than half of the distance from p to q i p to q i. Okay. Now, this finite number of these neighborhood will cover k because k is compact. Okay. Now, since uh, these neighborhoods you are drawing, this is our k, here is q 1, q 2, say q n, here is p. So, what we are doing is, we are drawing a ball, say this ball okay. and here it say this ball. So, here it is w q 1 this is nothing but v q 1 which are disjoint. Then we are taking say q 2. So, again p 2 we are taking say this is our say v q 2 and here it is say w q 2. Again they are disjoint because the distance does not match does not uh, is less than half of the radius is less than half of p of q 2. 
So, obviously, there this B q 1, B q 2, B q n will be disjoint with that. Okay. So, let if so V q 1, V q i intersection W q i is empty. Okay. That is. So, if we take V as finite union of V q 1, V q 2, V q n suppose this finite winner then this will be a neighborhood is a neighborhood of p is a neighborhood of p and this neighborhood does not intersect which does not intersect with w with w which is w means w q 1 union w q 2 union uh, this one say w q n w q n this does not intersect with this because this is the smallest one which is disjoint with everyone. So, we have a totally a neighborhood. So, this implies that this neighborhood v is totally contained in the complement part of k. Therefore, P is an interior point, interior point of K complement, but P is an arbitrary, arbitrary point. So, this shows that interior of this is an open set in X t. So, once it is open, then K must be closed. So, every compact subset of a metric space is a closed set and that is what we prove. Okay. Another results. Okay. Closed subsets of a compact set of compact sets closed subsets of compact sets are compact. So, this we wanted to show proof. So, let us take an F which is a subset of K which is subset of X where F is closed relative to X and Y is a compact set. what we want to show this closed subset that is f which is a subset of a compact set is compact. So, every closed subset of a compact set is compact that is what we show. So, required to prove is f is compact. f is compact means that it will cover uh, every open cover of f will have a finite sub cover. So, let us take let v alpha be an open cover of f. Open cover of f. Okay. Now, this is our scenario. So, here this is our x d, here this is a set k and here is somewhere f. Okay. Now, we are taking an open cover of f. What is f c? f c will be the complement of f. So, here somewhere we have a f c. This is our f c. Okay. Now, if we take a open cover of f, then some of the open cover will intersect f c also, because these are f c is f is closed, the f c will be complement will be an open set. So, it will be uh, adjoint to B alpha. So, if f of c is at is adjoint adjoint to the open set B alpha open cover B alpha of f then B obtained n we obtained an open cover of 
open cover we obtain an open cover omega of x of k omega of k uh, this uh, this is the open cover of b alpha now some of them will will definitely adjoin with this now b are taking the open cover of k okay now this open cover omega may contains f of c also some of okay so since k is for the let us see since k is compact so every open cover will have a finite cover so there is a finite sub collection of omega so there is a finite sub collection finite sub collection of uh, finite sub collection of phi of omega which covers which covers k by definition of the compact sets k now the possibility uh, okay now once this uh, omega which is a open cover of k and since k is compact so it will have a finite sub cover so it means that phi will cover f also okay so and hence hence this phi will cover f also finite sub collection will cover f also now in this phi if the phi c is fc is also a member then we can drop that if if f c is a member of this is a member of phi then even if we drop we can then we may drop we may drop it from phi still still the remaining will be the finite cover of f finite cover of f it still retain an open cover of f uh, remaining with some with others with some more with some more will be finite cover of f so but this shows that this shows that this implies that this sub collection of this a finite sub collection of this open cover b alpha covers f so this shows f is compact so that's the really interest okay now as a corollary to this if f is closed f is closed and k is compact k is compact then f intersection k is compact okay now proof for very easy what is this f is closed k is a compact subset of x every compact subset of a is closed so since k is a compact subset of say metric space xt so it implies that k is closed every compact subset of this further f and k is are closed set so relative to x relative to x so this implies that intersection part of this intersection of two closed set is closed again this intersection f intersection k is totally contained in k which is contained in x k is compact <coughs> this is compact so every closed subset of a compact set is compact so this implies f intersection k which is a closed subset of a compact set hence it is compact hence it is compact
Okay, so that proves the. Okay, hence it is compact. So this shows that. Okay. Uh, next result in this. This is also interesting result. If K alpha is a collection of, if sequence K alpha is a collection of compact subset. compact subsets of a metric space of a metric space say x d and uh, such that the such that the intersection of intersection of every finite every finite sub collection of k alpha sub collection of these k alpha sub collection of k alpha is non empty then the arbitrary intersection of k alpha k alpha is non empty so this shows the finite intersection property basically if k alpha is a collection of compact subsets of a metric space xd uh, this is our xd and k1 k2 kn these are the compact subsets of this uh, k alpha 1 k alpha 2 k alpha and these are the compact subsets of this x t and if we take the finite uh, intersection of this finite intersection of k alpha 1 k alpha 2 say k alpha n like this if you take the finite n each finite intersection is non empty set then arbitrary intersection will be non empty. So, this we will prove. Uh, by a contradiction. How will you say? Suppose one of the sets um, proof, what we will do is we will pick up one of the sets out of k alpha, say k 1, such that that no element of the k alpha that set k 1 belongs to each k alpha. It means when you take the intersection of k 1 to k alpha, all intersection sum, at least some of the points of that will be out of it will remain out of it means there are the com not every point of k 1 is uh, all um, uh, none of the point of that set belongs to each alpha that each k alpha that is what is. So, fix a fix a member k 1 then we will reach a contradiction ok then fix a member k 1 of this sequence of compact set k 1 from the sequence k and put and put say g alpha as the complement part of k alpha c. Now, <coughs> k alpha is a compact set set. So, it is a closed set. So, g alpha will be an open set in x it is an open. Now, what we assume that assume that this k 1 assume that no points of k 1 no point no point of k 1 a k 1 belongs to belongs to every k alpha every k alpha. So, this is our assumption this is very no point of k 1 belongs to k alpha it means when you find it say picked up the point 1 one point of k 1 then at least one of the alpha k alpha will be available where that point does not belong like that. So, no point of k 1 is uh, uh, no point of k 1 belongs to every alpha k alpha. Achha. Since g alpha is an open sets and k alpha and uh, since 
this collection G alpha is a collection of open sets, collection of open sets and K1 and K1 and K1 is a compact set because it is one of the set which you are choosing out of K alpha compact set. So, by definition, so uh, K1 is a, so they are all uh, so uh, uh, G alpha is a collection of open set and K1 is compact. So, the open cover open cover G alpha of K1 will have a finite sub cover will have a finite will have uh, then uh, so open cover G alpha of K1 will have a finite sub cover finite sub cover means that is that is they are all finitely many they are all finitely many indices say alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha n such that the k 1 is contained in g alpha 1 g alpha 2 g alpha n ok this but fine now if we this is a 1 but k alpha i intersection g alpha is empty because because what because the g alpha i is taken as the complement of k alpha i so if i take the inters k1 intersection this so this implies k1 intersection with uh, k alpha 1 intersection with k alpha 2 intersection with k alpha n then this will be empty set but what is this this is a finite intersection of k alpha but this is this so this is a finite intersection uh, finite intersection of k alpha is it not that is if I picked up the finite collection of this set k alpha then this are the finite but what is the uh, condition if k alpha is a collection of the complex subset of metric space such that intersection of every finite sub collection is non empty. So, which contradict which contradict 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 which contradict our assumption that that intersection of intersection of every finite every finite sub collection of k alpha of k alpha is non empty because it is coming to be empty. So, it is contradiction and contradiction is because of a wrong assumption that k 1 is one of the member out of k alpha is there which has a property that no point of k 1 belongs to every alpha. So, this leads this implies this implies that no that that no such k 1 is possible. It means that if we picked up it means whenever you take the points it is belongs to at least one of the point at least it will belongs to all of that alpha that is what is saying. Okay? So, this so this is only possible that this implies that the uh, in uh, arbitrary intersection of k alpha over alpha is a non empty set. 
because our assumption is wrong. Assumption is that there is a some k1 which has a property assuming that no point of k1 belongs to every alpha. So, if you picked up one point, then at least one of the alphas are there where the, that point does not belong. So, this leads to a contradiction. It means whatever the point you choose, it will belongs to every alpha, k alpha. Hence, the intersection will be non-empty. So, that proves the result. Okay. Now, consequence of this is the following results uh, as a corollary. The corollary is Uh, what is this says if if k n is a sequence of sequence of non empty compact non empty compact sets k if a non empty compact sets such that such that k n covers k n plus 1 and so on k n plus 1 where n is 1 2 3 and so on then the arbitrary then the countable intersection of k n 1 to infinity is not empty the proof is follows from there because what is given k1 contains k2 contains k3 contains and so on so this is our k1 here is k2 here is k3 and like this so if i take any finite uh, collection of kns then their intersection is non empty so clearly Clearly, uh, the intersection intersection of every finite every finite sub collection of Kns of sub collection is non empty. And Keynes are the sequence of compact sets. So, from the so by previous theorem, the arbitrary inter, the countable intersection of this one to infinity is non-empty. <coughs> That's proved. Okay. Now we have another results. This result will also be used if E is E is an infinite subset infinite subsets of a compact set of a compact set K of a compact set K then he then E has a limit point in K. limit point in k. So, let us suppose the contradiction. Okay, we prove again by contradiction. So, let us say proof. Suppose no point of k is a limit point of e. So, suppose no point of k is a limit point is a limit point of E. It means what? If no point of K is a limit point of E, uh, it means if we take each K that is then then each uh, at each each Q each point Q belongs to K have a has a neighborhood has a neighborhood say V Q which contains which contains at most one point at most one point that is the q itself 
one point of E that is Q itself central because if suppose it contains infinitely many point then Q becomes the limit point of it. So, that gives the contradiction. So, suppose it contains at most one point. Now, if I take the finite sub collection of this then clearly the finite sub collection finite sub collection of these neighborhoods V Q will not cover cannot cover cannot cover uh, say E cannot cover E because this is our uh, this is our k and E is this. Okay. Now, what we are assuming is no point of k is a limit point of this. So, suppose I take a q here, then this neighborhood q, this neighborhood of q will contain a neighborhood which does not include the other points of the q. So, because q is not a limit point, so at the most it will contain only the point, but since E has an infinite collection of the points. So, a finite number of the disks open cannot cover E because this will only have a finite number of points available in this cannot cover E as E is infinite set. So, if this neighborhood cannot cover finite it can also not cover K. So, obviously, this neighborhood obviously this neighborhood cannot cover finite finite sub collection finite sub collection of this BQ cannot cannot cover K. But what is K? K is com but K is compact. So, every open cover must have a finite sub cover. Now, B q we are taking a open cover for this. So, it cannot cover B q. Uh, so, if finite sub cover must cover q which is contradiction because it does not cover q. So, this contradiction this contradicts the compactness of k. Hence, the result, hence the result follows the result. Okay. Now, um, another two question uh, theorems are there, of course, uh, just one more theorem and then proof is immediate if a i n is if i n is a sequence of intervals. intervals in R 1 R 1 such that the i n cover i n plus 1 for n is 1 2 3 then the intersection of i n 1 to infinity is non empty. The proof is very simple suppose i n I take a n b n a close intervals and let E be the set of all ANs. Then obviously E is obviously E is non empty and bounded above by V1. And so let supremum of E is suppose X. Then clearly then clearly uh, ANs which is less than equal to a m plus 1 which is less than equal to v m plus n which is less than equal to v m holds. Therefore, when you take the supremum of this we get x is less than equal to v m for each m for each m, but a n is already less get less than equal to x. So, what they show this show that x belongs to i m when m is 1 to 3. So, we get the finite intersection of this non empty sub collection of I m 
intersection of this is non empty therefore the arbitrary intersection will also so this proves the result thank you very much